grand finals of the Rocket League X Games is underway. Game number one between NRG in blue, Gale Force in orange. And it is NRG on the assault first. Jacob just slapped away by Violent Panza off into NRG territory. And we're probably going to see slap boxing between these two all throughout the series, Fickle. I don't think it's any coincidence that USA and NRG have the same number of letters and are both equally chantable. There is going to be Fireburner getting this one over to Jacob. And Jacob dumping this one off into the corner. And Gale Force going to look to move it out. Kadoff on the point. Turbo trying to get the pass down. Kadoff went for that himself. And Garrett able to tap oh, that no. one away. That's an open net and an open goal for in the grand final. Turbo Pulsa and Kadop, I'm sorry, Turbo, uh, Kadop and Violent Panda actually running into each other in the midline really messed up the rotation there. It, it really is an understatement. It literally caused them to get scored on. Well, now NRG striking first. Can they continue down and score more on Gale Force? Will Gale Force tie this one up? We're not even a minute into this game. And Turbo and Panda moving forward. Here's Violent Panza, met by two members of NRG. Kadop looking to keep it in play off the corner, challenged by Jacob. Jacob down the center and knocked away by Turbo Pulsa. Kadop going to take control from midfield. Kadop looking for Panza. Panda taps it to Kadop, broken up by Garrett G. And now Garrett moving back again. We see it's like almost one and done. NRG or Gale Force are just able to catch the ball away from the opponent and force the opponent back. NRG was used to sitting on the lead. Oh, oh whoa, no, Jacob saved it. Oh, there's no one back in net. And Fireburner can't get back there. Tony does. He was battling Kate up. It was a race to who could get there first, and Fireburner was able to maintain control of his car. And now it's still a one goal lead here for NRG. It was a bit of a bang bang play on the other side of the field where Garrett pinched it off a member of Gale Force. It ended up hitting Jacob oh. on his backside. I don't know if it was exactly in, but it really disrupted their offense. Turbo and Kadop both on the assault, but Panda has to get involved to make this happen. Unfortunately for them, it's in their own zone off the ceiling. Garrett G towards the box, falling towards the net, and it's knocked away by Violent Panda to Kadop to knock it back downfield for Gale Force. And now Garrett G, we see a physicality coming out from Jacob in the defensive zone, a shot by Turbo, turned away by Jacob. Turbo almost getting there, here's Kadop, he plays it slow, and it's a tie game for Gale Force. One of the most creative shooters around, Kadop is able to, he, he goes up just to get up, and then it, since his car is already tilted back like that, it would take more time for him to turn laterally around than to just continue to tilt back and hit it with the backside of his car. The backside of your car, I think, is the third most powerful portion of it, so it's not optimal, but it was a very, very creative way to shoot it. Kadop looking to get this one over to Violent Panda. Turbo was playing the bully against Garrett G. Jacob throwing Kadop back to his own zone. Jacob with the tap down. Can Fireburner finish? No, Kadop is able to turn it away. Garrett G. A light tap towards the net is sent away. So many demolitions coming out from the side of NRG. That's the fourth one so far. Violet Panza and Turbo looking to keep it in the zone. Kadop coming up for the follow. And is knocked back away. Jacob clears it. A minute 45 already. This game has flown yeah, by. Seriously, I, I it's still one to one. I just looked up at the clock and I'm like, oh, we're. We're, this game is almost over. It's been so intense between these two teams. The, the clock just seems to go down faster as they play faster. And NRG working to try to clear this out. Gale Force led by Kadop. Coming back around the other side of the zone. Jacob clears it down. Field Turbo. A nice clear off to the corner to Panda. Uh-oh, but here comes Garrett G. Kadop swinging back to make that save. Fireburner opting for Jacob. NRG looking to continue their assault. Gale Force back against their own wall. Garrett G cannot find the connection there. Gale Force still forced back a little bit, but they have a lot of shots on net eight in total so far in the first four minutes and 10 seconds of this game. Final minute between these two teams, and I really feel like the first game is going to set the pace of this series. Whomever is going to be able to take the first game in the series has so much of an advantage. 
Oh, and Kadom trying to come around. Not able to finish it up. There's a shot in the top turbo. Pulsa, two to one. In 37 seconds left. If Gale Force manages to win this series, Turbo Pulsar is my MVP of the entire tournament. 100 percent yeah. Turbo. Yeah. People, people are thinking, like, where did Turbo come from? He's been, oh, he's been in the scene since the first season, but it's only recently now that he's just able to pair himself with two really, really good other oh, players. Wait. He shines. I was about to say, but wait, says Garrett G. Jacob and Fireburner saved by Violet Panda. A wide angle coming around to put that shot straight onto the net. Violet Panda clears it out. 20 seconds left. Garrett G going for the tap, knocked away by Turbo. Jacob, again, knocked away by Turbo Pulsa. Turbo Pulsa getting it past every single NRG defender. Knocked away by Garrett G. Can they get this downfield and tie it up? Turbo hits it against the ramp. Oh. Garrett G can't find it. And Gale Force Force don't promotion. have a USA flag like, pick. Well, I, I want one. Oh, oh, you want one. Well, someone get this man a flag. Turbo shooting this straight down off the face off. Garrett clearing it out to Jacob. And Garrett taking this from midfield, still on this ball, trying to create an offensive opportunity for NRG. Fireburner finding Jacob here, knocked away by Turbo Pulsa. And NRG finding it again in their own territory. They get these hard clear passes. A redirect by Jacob was high but, and turned away by Violent Panda. That would have classified as Jacob things, as he almost was able to sink that opportunity well, here. Ooh, well, but it might be a calculated though. whiff off the crossbar. It bounces out. NRG, they were robbed by Gale Force's crossbar. I would actually not be surprised if that was a fake from Jacob. I it, mean, it could have been. Looked, it looked intentional. Of the he was pretty he, high above the ball. Like, yeah, he wasn't close to it. I don't know. That was... Very, very close play from NRG, but... Well, couldn't couldn't execute and could not finish. And it still results in a 0-0 zero zero scoreline. But the shots are coming out here early from NRG. they got to clear this ball out. That one dangerous. Here comes Violent Panda to Turbo. The shot under goes into the net. It's one no good. Uh, defensive mistake here from NRG. This is one of those balls off the backboard that's very, very tough to read. It actually hit a portion of the sidewall that forces it to bounce more out than it does in. So there's three sections of that wall. There's the straight, and then there's the 45 degree turn, and then it turns once more. So it hit in between section two and section three and bounces outward instead of in towards the net. Here comes Violet Panda, the dunk down into the net, but it gets blocked. Kato finishes. What a play by Gil Force. Not much NRG could have done, just stuck stunned in net is Jacob. Wow, I can't believe he actually got the touch down on that. It didn't even seem like the hitbox of the of the Octane actually made contact with it, but he did, drops it straight down for the awaiting member of Gale Force to strike, and Gale Force carrying their momentum from game one into game two with a two-goal lead. Garrett G and Turbo fighting in NRG's corner. Another goal potentially was knocked away by Fireburner. Kadop looking for Turbo. Turbo. Just flicks that one towards his Gale Force, looks to reset. Now Jacob giving way to Garrett G. Garrett going under one, knocked away, and Dryer Fireburner trying to finish. Jacob's gonna do it for him. It's one to two, NRG gets a goal. I don't know how Fireburner, I don't know how Fireburner does it every single time when it counts. Taking this contest and actually putting it in such a favorable position for Jacob to come slamming home. Excellent celebration from Jacob as well. He's, he, he needs to dust off his hat after that one, though. <laughs> Down by one now. Plenty of time for NRG to get back into it here in game number two. That's going to be a quick contest by Turbo off the ceiling. Turbo cannot finish. Panda going to try to follow up. Knocked away by Fireburner. Here's Kadop. All he can do is knock it right into Jacob's good old hat. And now, Gale Force gonna look to try to extend their lead back to two. Garrett G and company are gonna look to clear it back out towards midfield as Garrett, or not Garrett, excuse me, Fireburner, he ate the dust there. We're approaching the halfway point in this game. It is two to one, three shots for NRG, five for Gale Force so far. This series means so much oh. to NRG. They're finally getting them able to prove themselves in a grand finals. And we have not seen that since season one of any North American team. And I know it means so much for them because they just wanted the opportunity to prove themselves. And they're finding such a tough opponent in Gale Such Force. a great play by Karen G. It allows Jacob to almost get that goal. Fireburner's still there, but it's too slow. Kadop was waiting for it. Jacob getting this around. 
down one defender. Can he get it set up for his team? He went for the demolition. Turbo avoids it, and Gale Force is able to clear it off downfield. Two minutes left to go, still down by one. Garrett G throws it against the ramp. Fireburner and Jacob waiting for an opportunity on this ball, but Garrett G gonna take the point. Again, challenged by Turbo Pulsa. And NRG is going to have to try to play this one out yet again. A nice little tap from... Did he even tap that? Just bounce off the ramp. There's Kadot looking for Turbo Challenge. Panda coming for the shot. Up high. Save by Garrett G. Kadot not able to solidify that one. And Jacob clears it away. Yeah. It's not done yet, though. However, NRG is managing to hold off Gale Fork for the time being. But they have to get downfield and score. There's still a goal down. Fireburner looking for Garrett downfield. But Garrett ending up rotating out back towards the net turbo pulsa let me get that one off to the corner nrg garrett to jacob broken up by violent panda who has been so solid for gale force in this tournament flipped up nrg playing good defensively and great goaltending it's not enough they need another goal as panda looking to push it forward garrett g to jacob Gets that one downfield. NRG, a little bit of breathing room. Uh, Jacob bailed out that lackluster clear from Garrett. Garrett is going to be the one that needs to step up for NRG, as he did in the game versus Selfless, especially the last game. So he's not having too great of a performance in both of these games thus far, but there's still plenty of time. Well, these challenges are keeping it in play for NRG. Can they get something solid onto the net? Here's Fireburner. Can we get to Garrett? Garrett with the shot. Here's Jacob. There's the tie game. What a team play by NRG with 24 seconds left. Exactly what I just said. Fireburner coming off of the rotation from trying to bump somebody in the net, grabs full boost, and is in the correct position. The vision for Garrett to get it to him, and then Fireburner back to Garrett. Garrett takes the shot, forces both members of Gale Force to jump, and Jacob's going to put that one every time. We could be heading to overtime here in game number two of the grand finals. Pushing down to the corner, Fireburner broken up by Violent Panda, 10 seconds left. Jacob cannot get this one away from Kadop. Kadop cannot really set that up for anybody. Gale Force playing this one safe, do not want to give up a regulation goal. There is no time left. This ball going to stay in the air. Jacob hitting it high, he's still up Jacob. for it. Jacob knocks it down, overtime. I was about to say, Jacob was about to pull off some ridiculous aerial, but it resets into overtime. First overtime of the series. First overtime of the series. Violent Panda, the quick shot towards the net. Knocked away by Garrett G. Kadop rotating back on the offensive. And Garrett G just wants to stop that, but these clears straight out to midfield really haven't been favorable for NRG. Fireburner, that's a nice challenge. Jacob gonna follow up. Here comes Garrett. Garrett gets a good challenge away, but Turbo Pulsa back in net, able to clear it downfield for now. Jacob, high, fighting Violent Panda for this. Double he gets touch. a clean win. The shot, oh, oh, way wide. Now, Garrett G, can he keep this in play? Here's Fireburner, the shot's just high, and it played away by Kadop, just barely turbo, or excuse me, Violent Panda with a crucial follow-up. On that double touch from Jacob, sometimes touching that ball off the wall, even if you're able to, is not the best play because your teammate had a way better opportunity to hit that. That was a great save by Fireburner. Not fire, Fireburner. Garrett G. That's that cleared down. In? That's going. That's going. Turbo. He makes the save. That coming straight back to the net. Here's Fireburner knocked away by Kadop. Jacob in midfield making the challenge against Violent Panda. Here comes Garrett G, but Panda keeps it in his favor. A quick shot off the back wall turned away by Jacob. Garrett, he's got a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but Kadop is flying back. Challenged by Violent Panda and Turbo Pulsa. A minute 30 into this overtime. It has gone back and forth. Everyone at the edge of their seats. You can feel the tensity. I'm tense, that's for sure. And NRG in the danger zone of their own territory. They gotta be able to get this out if they wanna win. Gale Force, they gotta keep the pressure up, and NRG will crack. Yeah, that's the story of overtime. Which team will make the first mistake? Well, Jacob from his own corner, getting downfield. Kate up, going to Panda, and knocked away by, or knocked in by Garrett G. Still in midfield, Fireburner just, they're gonna play the corners. NRG, we've seen them, they'll play the corners as long as they can. If they can get control of the map, starve you a boost, they will eventually score on you. We're approaching 
about half of a regulation game in this overtime. Still no score for either team. Gale Force moving downfield. Turbo, a light shot towards the net, turned away. Kadop oh, and Violent Panda both going up for it. Fireburner tries to sneak it in. He cannot. Uh, miscommunication there from Gale Force on that attack. Both players called each other off and nobody went for it. Almost led to a ball going into their net. Oh, this is headed against the backboard. Can he play it away? Jacob does. Crucial backboard defense. Kadop challenged by Garrett G. But both members of NRG, both behind the midfield line. Jacob to Fireburner. This is the play they were looking for, but too light. Kadop able to knock that one away. Garrett G content on letting the offensive pressure continue. Downfield it goes, just resetting. Jacob booms it downfield. Turbo and Panda combining to get it away. And Garrett G's the only one back and gets a nice clear downfield. You see this sometimes in overtime where both teams are playing way safer than they normally would because they know that one mistake will cost them the game. That's literally done. Golden goal wins. So I wouldn't expect, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes into five plus, six plus minutes of overtime. Either team just trying to find any solid opportunity one thing no for sure will go in that's a shot right into Kadop bumper Kadop one tap can he get the second tap he's going straight under trying to forget to get another shot Jacob can't get there and Gale Force takes a two to nothing lead in the series looks like Garrett was the first one to crack there off of that nothing lead in this best of seven series NRG looking to fight back in this grand finals at the Rocket League X Games and now, or the X Games Rocket League, however you want to do it, pass. a pass is knocked away quickly. Gale Force's defense just so good at breaking up those passes. In midfield, Jacob to Fireburner. Oh, cannot make the connection just wide from Fireburner. Man, two whiffs in a row from each team. Uh, a little bit of a jitter is coming out into game number three. Gale Force already took a very close overtime in that last series, so they're feeling a bit relieved. The pressure is on for NRG to get their very first game in this series, or else they are just gonna lose the momentum battle to Gale Force. Jacob demoing people on the way back. Here comes Turbo Pulsa, high off the back wall. Jacob can't find the connection. It allows Kadop to at least make that challenge. But Garrett, met by Panda. And again, a battle in midfield for possession of the ball. We'll have another concentrated attempt, another passing attempt towards the net. Kadop, an aggressive challenge going up for Turbo Pulsa. What a shot. One to nothing for Gale Force. Turbo Pulsa again, being the player that Gale Force can rely on time and time again to get the. Look how fast he got up to that ball. And Kadop with that aggressive challenge. That play doesn't happen without him seeing that ball is loose for just a half second. He went for it. He committed to it. And that just put a perfect setup for Turbo to get up there. And Turbo's read, like you said, was almost instantaneous. Garrett G trying to get something set up for NRG, but it is Gale Force moving back into their territory. Jacob against his own back wall, cannot find the pick against Kadop. Kadop, punch from Turbo, a shot by Kadop goes in the net. It's two to nothing, Gale Force. I'm wondering why Firebutter doesn't try to take this read off of the wall here. It actually bounces really far away from him and he doesn't commit. He he must have no boost in the net there or else he should have been able to challenge that ball off the wall. Well now NRG, not even a minute and a half gone, find themselves down two to nothing against what is increasingly... All right, Garrett, all right. I see you, Garrett, I see you. One, two. And the champs start coming out for NRG, a favorable kickoff for Garrett took the kickoff and got it himself and scored a one-man army out there a one-man army with this face-offs they're that favorable for you you got to take advantage when you can off this one kadop challenged by jacob nrg looking to tie this up a quick response from them it's all but crucial to kind of keep their heads in it although nrg is as stoic as any team in rocket league not known for tilting garrett g Firebrunner ends up finding this one back to Garrett. Garrett towards the back wall, knocked away by Turbo Pulsa. Gale Force content to play those walls softly and away as they continue to rotate around. Jacob trying to disrupt those rotations. And Jacob hitting those backside demolitions, but they haven't been beneficial to NRG because those demolitions are coming from someone outside of the play. Yeah, we actually haven't seen Jacob be too involved 
help with the offense. And as I say that, tries to go for something ridiculous there. Well, but here's Fireburner. Normally when NRG is playing their best, Jacob is being so creative with his offensive opportunities, and we have not seen that in this series whatsoever. Garrett high against Turbo. And that one is knocked back yet again. Another demolition, but this time on the side of Gale Force. And halfway through this game, NRG still find them, finds themselves down. One goal in danger of going down three to nothing in this best of seven grand final series. Turbo Pulsa sending this over the middle. No one able to follow up. Covered was Garrett. Garrett now moving downfield. Not able to find Jacob or Fireburner. Fireburner finds it instead off the crossbar. Garrett G cannot finish. Jacob wrapping around, getting it away from Violet Panda. Fireburner cannot find it. It's cleared away by Kadop. Garrett G is going to have to reset. To the other side of the field. Fireburner and company looking to move forward, looking to find that tying goal. Any kind of breathing room, not wanting to go down to match point against this gale force squad and right now gale force is just keeping it away from them maintaining the pressure in the offensive zone and it's just not looking good for nrg right now i'm so focused on the gameplay of these of this of these two teams that i don't notice the clock dwindling down as much as it is this might be an opportunity for nrg jacob challenged there by two members of gale force fireburner up off the ceiling. Can Garrett G find something he cannot back down? Gale Force. Can they score another goal? Secure cement. You think a two-goal lead would just really cement the fate of NRG in this game number three. Here's Kadop looking for that double tap. He gets it. It's high. Can Fireburner get there? He can, but right. They're waiting. What, what happened on that play? Somebody clipped that online. We're going to have to take a second look because I'm not sure how that ball did not find its way into the net. I'm fairly sure that two members Garrett's of running NRG. away. Garrett's running away. Garrett has a tie game. Garrett, he ran from his own end. His car's faster than yours. You can't catch him. 35 seconds left. Jacob didn't fully demolish Violet Panda on this side of the field, but he bumped him just enough to turn his car around, and he could not get recovered fast enough, and Garrett is able to just walk the ball straight into the net. Somehow, NRG comes back into this game number three. And now you see them getting a little more aggressive on offense after that face-off win. Here's Jacob, but challenged there by Turbo and Kadom. Garrett with another midfield challenge, but it is Gale Force and Panda. Turbo in waiting. Ball sailing cross field, 15 seconds left. Are we gonna see another overtime? Oh, Jacob, there's Garrett G. Can he get the top? What a challenge by Violent Panda getting there in time. Almost no time left. Can Gale Force keep it out? This ball still in the air, Garrett slams it against the back wall. Violent Panda taking it downfield. Jacob gonna let it drop. Smart decision there from Jacob. It's really not worth it to keep it up in your own end. And once you get uh -oh. the kickoff, you can have something reset. Uh-oh. Wait. Okay. I thought he was gonna pass it back down to Fireburn. It was gonna look deadly. But NRG taking control. This Fireburn, he took the steal! NRG wins game number three. It's two to one. We just saw an overtime that went to four minutes, and this one is decided what they did wrong, what they did right. They still have to get more games over this Gale Force squad who is looking so intimidating. And now we are in game number four. And on game number four, it is going to be Turbo dunking it down off the ground. Garrett looking to take control here. NRG and Gale Force will play this ping pong until they see someone slip up, someone lose control. And going downfield, Jacob at the hop for Garrett G here. Coming back up, looking off the ceiling for Garrett. Garrett off to the corner. NRG still not able to find that first offensive opportunity. Well, able to boom it back downfield. That wasn't the greatest touch. He had to get up there quickly to challenge. Jacob's already downfield. Can he get the favorable tap? He does. And then Kadop smacks it away. Fireburner, another shot, but turned away, and it was wide by Turbo Pulsa. Yeah, Jacob actually missing that clear on his own end about 15 seconds ago, but he turned it into an opportunity by playing very close to the defense from Gale Force. NRG already looking a lot more efficient in this fourth game. Here is going to be a, almost a quick shot, but turned away to the side. And now Violent Panda going to take control. 
Ends up missing that second tap. That's a booming shot downfield off the back wall. Knocked away, followed up by Kadoff. There's Garrett G slamming it to the other side of Gale Force territory. And there's Violent Panda. Kadoff and Turbo Pulse. That's a huge whiff. Turbo coming straight back to make up for that error. NRG, don't think they were expecting that whiff either. Yeah, and there's no reason you should be expecting that whiff because you have to respect Gale Force uh -oh. as a team. Oh, Kadop was looking for that second tap. There's a knock away there by Jacob. Garrett G and Violent Panda fighting here. Fireburner getting up there real close. That ball close to the net. Jacob able to come back, but right now Gale Force is putting on the offense. There's Violent Panda slamming against the back wall. He gets that second tap, and that is a 1-0 lead for Gale Force in game number four. NRG scrambling to get back onto their own end after Fireburner and Garrett G both pushed up to clear the ball. Garrett goes for a pinch off of the sidewall, but doesn't necessarily hit it in the correct way and forces both of them out of position. And then they're trying to get back and they're not able to do that. Gale Force moving and broken up quickly by NRG. Approaching the halfway point in this game. It has been a low scoring affair. I don't think any of us are shocked by that. And no, no lack of trying. That's for sure what a redirect and a, almost a finish by Violet Panta, or Turbo Pulse, excuse me. He could not finish that one off. Almost. NRG moving downfield. Fireburner gonna have to rely on Garrett. Turbo and Garrett gonna battle in the corner. Violent Panta coming up with it here. Forcing it by. And Fireburner fighting three defenders for this. Jacob trying to force it through. Garrett G gonna have to keep it in play as it sails towards the box. And he just drops straight back down. But NRG, they're just waiting. They don't want to overextend and go down two goals to this Gale Force squad. Garrett G looking for that angle. He does find it, but that's against the back wall. Jacob rolls it under. Garrett G for fire burner, but he's too far under the ball. Not able to find that redirect. It's get, it gets cleared downfield. Man, fire burner wasted so much boost trying to get that ball. He instantly went up for it, but then realized he could get it. Still went for it, and now he had to rotate all the way back out, and that's going to stop any offense. Oh, energy. Garrett to fire burner broken up by Turbo Pulse. Now here's Jacob, that shot gonna be wide and away, but waiting is Fireburner, cutting under the ball yet again. And coming by, Garrett G has to slap it, waiting for him was Turbo Pulsa. Now, coming is Fireburner. The shot towards the net gonna be just wide. Kadop forced back quickly, as NRG still needs a goal to tie this game up. There's not a lot of time left. A minute and 18 seconds to go. Fireburner looking to take it out from his own corner. Looking to try to generate some more offense. The offense, the unstoppable offense uh, has met the immovable defense of Gale Force. And Garrett G and company have only registered one shot on net. Less than a minute left to go. Now a second right after that statement. It's very interesting. NRG oh. has been playing from behind in the last three games of the series. The only game in which they had a lead was the very first one, and now they're just struggling, struggling, struggling. Press, press, press against the defense of Gale Force, but they're just not letting up. Cannot find any angle, any room to work with. NRG trying to move downfield. Gale Force slamming the door shut. 30 seconds left to go. A second goal would be devastating. Kadop drops it in. It's two to nothing, Gale Force. That might be the goal that decides this game. Still 25 seconds remaining, but it's very doubtful that if you haven't been able to create thus far in the first four minutes and 30 seconds, there's not a real big chance for you to get two goals in 25 against the scores. They got to score essentially one every 12 seconds. Garrett G moving downfield. Here's Jacob trying to slip under. And it's not going to get past Violent Panza. Garrett G having to quickly make a save. Turbo Pulsa in support. Kadop with the finish off the crossbar. Violent Panda challenge. No time left. NRG does have to score with time on the clock in order to tie this up. But it will not happen. And now Gale Force takes this series to match point. It's 3-1. to one. Gale Force is primed. To the X Games and game number five underway right now. Here we go. Fireburner looking to play this one in straight, but it is knocked quickly away by Gale Force. Violent Panda. Ooh, and Turbo Pulse with a great challenge, but Fireburner right there. Kadop and Violent Panda 
rotating both back. It allows this play to get set up. Can Kadop find it? Had to come from the opposite side of the corner to try to make a play there. Oh, this ball's gonna center favorably for NRG, but Gale Force actually a very rare whip from them, but Violet Panda is, is gonna scoop that up, no problem. And Jacob gonna be able to push here, rolling off the ceiling. Garrett G in support, looking for Jacob again, but there's two members of Gale Force all over these NRG players. Garrett G taps it high, looking for the second tap, but he's challenged by Violent Panda. The backboard defense has been absolutely dominant for Gale Force in this series. And there was that one ball that was coming off of the of that arch of the roof we talked about behind the backboard. Turbo was up for that and instantly recognized where it was going to be. He didn't actually hit it because his teammate came out and saved him, but that alone is the skill that the D-Force, the D-Force, the defense the from... The D-Force. The defense from Gale Force is exerting. We D-Force now, boys. Here, Kadoff trying to slip it right past two defenders. Now looking to just set somebody up and challenged by Jacob. Jacob gets another favorable challenge. NRG playing a little further back. Fireburner not an optimal angle to challenge him there. Kadoff Working as the point man here, flipped around by Garrett G. Garrett G running past the Gale Force defense, but Violet Panda makes it back. Fireburner, no place set up for them. It's going to be cleared back by Gale Force. A shot just wide. Violet Panda's going to finish one to nothing. Gale Force. It may have looked like an easy shot for Violet Panda, but there was a member of NRG streaking across right here. Fireburner actually does pre jump this ball, but. Panda puts it in such a hard place to defend that you, even if you did pre-jump that ball from the situation that Fireburner was in, no chance, literally zero. Now NRG finding themselves down in the series, find themselves down in the game. And like we said, they lose this. Well, they lose the championship. Violent Panda knocked away by Jacob. Here's Garrett G, goes slow off the course into the net, one to one, it's a tie game. Will Garrett G be able to pull NRG back into this series. It seems to always be the Jacob to Garrett G connection gets them back in. That was a great pass, a great tee by Jacob, allowing just a little bit slow, and the defense not able to get up there to challenge just in time. Now tied up, plenty of time left to go. Really, this entire series has been this close. Can NRG get downfield and take the lead in this game and force at least a game six? Here comes Fireburner, but doesn't have any angle here. Tries to play the bully. Turbo has jumped over every single attempt of physicality from NRG. Just will not let the demolition happen. What mechanics oh. as well there from KDOP. Not hitting the ball in the air, but instead landing under it and still keeping control of the ball. They just know so well how to work the ball out of their own defensive third every single time. Garrett G getting sent out of the arena shortly. And Gale Force moving back downfield. Garrett able to play it to the corner. Here's a pass, dump off the Panda from Turbo. The shot saved by Fireburner. Kadop gonna keep this one in play, but Fireburner has other ideas as he just booms it down to Gale Force's zone. A Fireburner whip. gonna play it slow. A huge whip Are is bailed by me? Turbo Pulse. And Jacob trying to finish, but again, Kadop comes in support to get Gale Force out of a jiffy. I believe. Axel Toss mentioned it on the desk right there. When you get robbed of that goal that Fireburner just tried to put in in the manner that Turbo Pulsa did it, you feel so deflated and it's hard to come back from that. And again, a minute, 30 seconds remaining. Can NRG get the win in this series to keep them alive or will Gale Force be oh, your game's Rocket League Invitational oh, Champion? And that's a shot, the follow-up by Garrett G. There it is! It's Jacob to Garrett at the rebound. NRG takes the lead. Mm, a little bit of a weird touch there from Jacob following behind it just to get get a touch of it But then when the defensive member from Gale Force goes to contest it Jacob's in the way of actually getting it cleared and it spills out Garrett's gonna take the shot a minute 18 left to go NRG looking to force game number six Ooh, a Very light touch down to Panda I'll take up to get up there. Keep it in the corner, but Gale Force Looking to move it downfield the pass to Panda Going down, there's only one man back for NRG. Jacob hits it towards midfield. Kadop down towards the net, knocked away by Garrett G. And now Fireburner, the shot towards the net, turned away by Turbo Pulsa. 50 seconds left to go. Again, a second goal by NRG could 
cement a win for them. Gelforce looking for that tying goal, looking to try to finish this series out now as time still ticking down for them. Violet Panda. Garrett G getting aggressive there, all up in the face of both Turbo and Panda. A nice challenge by Fireburner keeps it in play for NRG. 25 seconds left to go. Can Gale Force get out of their own end? Kadop, can he get it by Jacob? There is Turbo Pulsa in support here. 15 seconds now. In the third, Garrett G able to get it downfield to Fireburner who redirects it up to the backboard. Garrett G dunks it down. An incredible save by Violent Panda. There's still time left. Violent Panda, a quick turn. Oh, Jacob on this touch. The shot is oh. saved by Jacob. The ball's still in the air though. Off to the side. Coming around is Jacob. He gets it downfield. But the game is not over until this ball hits the ground. Jake or Kadop keeping that it up. Be done. Garrett G tapping it down. Kadop. Oh. He's still got this ball. Kadop coming down. Here comes Turbo Pulsa. Are you kidding me? Violet Panda. He cannot find it. Finally, NRG finishes. And we're going to game six. Nice. I think it's been three or less. A Chiefs, a Chiefs check on me. Yeah, but we're gonna get a Chiefs check. <laughs> we're gonna get into <laughs> game number five versus NRG, the North American hope to win the X Games, and Gale Force, the European stalwarts. And Turbo Pulsa able to recover quickly. Garrett G off the backboard, and Kadop able to come around. But here's Jacob dunking it down into the net. NRG taking the early lead. This is what I expect from Firebrand to do. Making contact in the net finally there. got turbo. Yeah, finally was able to pin down the elusive turbo pulsa in net. You know, you always say to add demolitions to your gameplay, but if the other team is actually there's actually a skill in avoiding demolitions that is not talked about very often. Yeah. Turbo pulsa may be just one of those undimmable players. Well, here comes Garrett on the assault, looking for Jacob. It's up and over and in two to nothing NRG. I thought for sure that was actually going off the crossbar. I didn't think he'd be able to get this ball over and off and Pickle. in. Wow. Up and over. Up and over is right, man. All Garrett of a G. sudden, Gale Force, who has kind of really dominated for most of the game in every single game in this series so far with NRG coming back to steal a couple and then in the last game taking control, find themselves, uh, hello? Panda, hello? Kadop, hello? Jacob, what? No, it's not in the net. NRG's a brick wall. I thought for sure that was going to be a Gale Force goal. I don't know how that didn't go in the net. I had flashbacks to Jacob recovering, saving his own mistouch in game number two. Kadop throws that one in. It's two to one. Eventually, it goes in for Gale Force. <laughs> but they have been getting very, very, very robbed of their goals in the previous game and in this one right here. Kadop actually had the very nice fake into the flick dribble and then violent panda puts it on net jacob makes the save but it eventually goes in for gale force now gale force looking to storm back to tie this quickly it's only been a minute that's passed and this might be our highest scoring affair of this series so far it is game number six nrg down in the series three to two they have to continue to win after being down three to one in this series but here comes gale force as panda looking to get turbo set up here Broken up by Jacob, past Kadop. Jacob right on top of Kadop here. Kadop plays it nicely and away. A quick shot, gonna be just wide against the backboard. Here's Turbo, but Fireburner already up against the back wall to knock it towards midfield. And Jacob and Kadop cross again, and here we have this battle of, of possession in midfield. Both trading, getting it down, and then having it clear right away. And down one goal, NRG does not want to make that rotational mistake. Ooh, very sneaky touch there from Violet Panda on his way down off of the ceiling to put it in towards NRG. NRG not fooled, however, as they left two members in the box there. Ooh, Jacob with a whip. It's now going to be Gale Force's turn to attack. There G gets a nice throw over to the other side of the field. Back from Jacob, finding Fireburner. He gets it straight past Kadop with a shot, but turned away by Turbo Pulsa. There's a dump off to Violent Panda from Kadop. Kadop looking to split the defense up high, challenged and knocked away by Fireburner. Man, Fireburner came from all the way on the other side of the pitch, outside of the box to save that. Sometimes it's good to let the member coming into the rotation take that okay. if they can be first to it. And Jacob knocking that one a little too high right up in to Violent Panda. 
Jacob flicking this towards the middle of the field, but no one's there to get it. Garrett G back farther. And he has to flick backwards, actually, to get to the corner instead of it going straight to the net. Turbo down to K-Top, but it's knocked away by Jacob. In midfield, Galeforce look to continue the assault. Pepper the goal with shots until eventually they find it, and demolitions are happening everywhere. But that ball rolls right back into their own territory. Jacob. I, I'm always so... I'm always so dumbfounded about how much time actually goes by watching these two teams. It seems like they're not even playing for more than a minute, but it's oh, we're getting down to the final minute 30. Kadop looking to take the pass. That's off the ceiling and a great read by Garrett off the ceiling to clear it away. But Turbo is not intent on letting this leave the zone. Kadop throwing it to the middle, but oh, the only person there is Fireburner. A minute 25 left to go in this game. NRG still has the lead. Can they force game number seven against Gale Force and possibly steal the championship away from this team who all but looked like they had it wrapped up at a three to one series lead? Clearly the fan uh -oh. favorite Gale Oh, what a block by block. Garrett. Jacob taking control. He's got three defenders to beat. He got blocked by one. Kadop looking for the pick and got knocked away. Jacob just pinches it across. Gale Force. Turbo just gonna opt for Kadop. Gets it over to Panza, but challenged away by Fireburner. Back down to Jacob. Fireburner's going downfield. Gonna have to fight Turbo off for this ball. As Turbo, very impressively, wow. off his own back wall. He's, he, he was able to stay with that ball all the way from his own backboard and win the 50-50. Oh, it's a dunk down and a great save by two members of NRG. 30 seconds remaining. Fire, burner, trying to find Garrett. He might not need to as he still has the ball. Gets it by two defenders, but Turbo Pulsa ends up with it. Now, 15 seconds left. Can Gale Force tie this game up? There is almost no oh. time left. A huge whiff. He can't get it out. is all but assured we're going to game seven. I am in disbelief that Turbo Pulsa misses this ball. I cannot believe that. Nerves? Might have been something else. Nerves? Might have been something else? I, I don't, I, I can't explain. I can't attribute he was, to anything he else was that trying to get, Turbo Pulsa He was trying to get the world's biggest boomer downfield and he <laughs> just barely missed it on the clip. And now there's no time left on the clock. If you wanted some fantastic Rocket League, guess what? We're going to game seven in the grand finals of the $75,000 entertained because I know both me and Fickle have been entertained by the Rocket League we've seen today. Game number seven is underway. This is now it. The winner of this game will be the X Games Rocket League champions. We've seen 21 games today. I think that's... Is that more than we saw if they won? I, I, I almost want to say yes. Probably. That's a quick shot turned away by Tur uh, by Violent Panza. And getting the pass from K-Dop. Coming straight downfield. K-Dop going to opt for Turbo. Turbo looking for the second tap. Turbo! He can't find it because Garrett G slaps it away. And Jacob looks to move it back downfield. But here is Panza and Fireburner able to knock it straight back. K-Dop. Tying away, no one finds this ball. Literally, no one finds this ball. So it just moseys on back to midfield. And finally, Turbo comes up with it. But it's slapped down by Fireburner. Kadop off of Garrett. Good backboard defense yet again. NRG, here's Fireburner. Cannot get this by Kadop. And Jacob forced to play Mario Mary go round around the box to get to that ball. Kadop against the center. Gale Force has put three shots on net already. And two from NRG, the offense, the aggressiveness, the speed has just been upticking. And in game seven, it is no different. Jacob to Fireburner. The shot, the goal, NRG! I'm regretting throwing that flag behind me. <laughs> Jacob saw you throw the flag and he's like, uh-uh. He's going he's gonna to have, have to talk to It was all after. calculated. <laughs> Except that. Well, NRG taking the first lead in game number seven. See if they can hold on to this now. Fireburner gonna take the pass from Jacob, but broken up by Gale Force here. Fi Violent Panda to Turbo. Turbo sailing towards the net and knocked away by Garrett G. We talked all series long about how Gale Force's backboard defense 
and they're playing the corners have been so solid. And in these last two games, NRG has done exactly that. You see Garrett G up there consistently, who's always been a defensive stalwart for NRG, has come up huge in these last two games. I cannot say enough about Garrett's performance in this series alone. And even on the rest of the tournament, he has been the consistent force of NRG and comes in clutch every single time they need him. Moving downfield, NRG looking to just try to get some more goals onto the board. And Jacob stealing it away from Kadop here as he goes off to the corner, throws it down. Kadop cannot clear it away. Fireburner finishes it two to nothing for NRG. Finally, we are seeing Jacob things as he runs onto the ceiling, jumps down off of it, and spikes the ball right into the box for Fireburner to clean up that mistouch from Gale Force. NRG, are they about to take three games in a row against these European monsters and win it all? Garrett looking to move it down, field pass, Turbo Pulsa. Panza coming to back him up. Jacob has other ideas, but it's knocked away by Turbo. Fireburner in midfield. Dumping that straight back down. We are more than halfway through this game. There's a setup here. Here is Violet Panza just wide and high. Kada forcing it by. Can Turbo finish it? It's too high. And NRG with a double commit. It's going to allow Panda to get a shot towards the net. That one tap is knocked away. Kada coming back towards the net. But nothing is going to come of it. And Gale Force with a couple of solid opportunities cannot finish. Again, clock is already down to two minutes in this game where does the time go oh, between these two play. teams panda was able to make the save but there's another shot off the crossbar turning back around fireburner hesitated for just a second and it allows gale force to clear this ball out there's only a minute and 42 seconds left nrg up by two goals are looking to steal this series away from gale force down two games earlier in this very series Time still ticking down. Violent Panda picked off by Jacob. And off the backboard, Kadop has to play it away and challenging it back. Garrett G just going to play it off to the side. Energy doing so well. Playing it away from the net. The shot turned away by Jacob. Oh, almost finding it there, but knocked away town field. Jacob, Garrett G waiting for maybe a pass. Jacob was trying to find some. Kadop broke it up before it could even materialize. Now to the other side of the zone, it's going to go. Gale Force has got to score. they got to get something, you think, maybe on this possession. There's almost no time left. Garrett G, a shot turned away by Turbo Pulsa. Here comes Jacob, high off of the corner and knocked away by Kadop. Gale Force now looking like NRG in the first three games. They can't get it out of their own zone. Final 45 seconds between these two teams. NRG looking poised oh, to take this. Jacob absolutely stuffing Turbo on that play. Violet Panda to Kadop, to Panda. The shot to Turbo, cannot find it. 30 seconds left, cleared away by NRG. Jacob demolishing Turbo Pulsa, trying to put a stake in the heart of this Gale Force squad. As time is ticking away, they have to score with time left in order to tie this game up. Here comes Panda, but it's nowhere close to the net. NRG has every it's single done. option covered. Six seconds left, still in NRG's territory. It gets cleared downfield. Don't let them distract you from the fact that Gale Force just blew a three to one lead against NRG. You're